Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you for joining me today on this fishing venture. Um, I don't know if you can tell by my apparel, but it is freezing here and raining. So I guess it's not quite freezing, but it's cold enough to be almost snowing. So that gives you an idea. I'm here with my friend Ethan today and he is getting all suited up. Um, we're gonna do some fishing, hopefully catch some fish, and I hope you stay tuned. All right, see you guys soon. which was awesome. It was a beautiful rainbow. So we're just gonna be fishing a little bit longer, but um, we did get pretty wet, so we might call it a day pretty soon and try to get back to the car. Um, so stay tuned for another day of fishing coming soon. And yeah, thank you guys so much for tagging along. Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, we had a fun day of fishing yesterday and I was gonna go fishing today but it snowed a half a foot and I could go fishing but I could also stay at home and watch television and today that's what I chose but I'm getting out on a little snowy walk with Berto and I thought I'd answer some of y'all's questions. So, I put a poll out on Instagram. My Instagram is at G-L-O-G-O-N-I. I'll leave it right there. Um, asking you guys' photography questions. So if you don't know, I like to take photos, mostly of fly fishing. So, um, I thought that maybe I could answer any questions you guys have about that kind of thing. Berto! Berto Lingo! <laughs> so, the first question I got was, okay, I'm gonna sit down so I don't slip again. <sighs> the first question I got was, what camera I use? And I use the Sony a7 with a 35 millimeter prime lens almost exclusively for digital. And then I use a Canon AE-1 program for film with a 50 millimeter lens. So those are my two lenses, or my two cameras. Um, and then for all the vlogs, I use my GoPro 8 with some special little attachments and things like that. So I got a question that said, what do you use when fishing? How do you keep it dry? I think they were talking about camera wise, so I use those cameras. And I either bring a uh, backpack with a dry bag and have all the camera equipment in the dry bag, or I have my pack, which is a fish pond lumbar pack. And maybe, usually I just put my film camera in there and ditch the digital camera as of lately. I've been doing a lot more film photography. Um, and it fits in there just fine. My, my digital camera fits in there with just one lens just fine too. So I can do either one of those. And to keep it dry, waterproof bag for sure. Um, I'm thinking about getting a chest bag, um, but I haven't found one that's waterproof. So if you guys know of a chest camera pack that is waterproof, let me know in the comments because I would be so excited about that. Okay, 
Uh, is photography your full-time job? No, it is not. I wish it was one day, hopefully. Um, but right now I do a few other jobs. I do some writing, some photography, and I bake at a bakery. Have any tips for better fly fishing, or fly fishing photos? Yes, I do. I made a video about it. It's not the best quality video, but I think it has some good points and I'll link it up here or down here or somewhere on the screen um, so you know what those tips are. So my biggest tip that I say in that video and that I want to reiterate is to take pictures of more than just fish. When fish, fly fishing is a whole lot more than catching fish. So I recommend that people take pictures of the whole process because the journey is what makes it so beautiful and so fun, not just catching fish. How do you edit your images? I get a lot of questions like this. And the truth is that I, if you're trying to get better at photography, I would get Lightroom. Lightroom is a great software. And I would really recommend using the tone curve. I think is what it's called. It's like the curve that you change. That's like where I do most of my editing and don't focus on like other stuff. Just focus on the tone curve a little bit on, you know, a little bit about hue and all that stuff. But tone curve is where you're, is going to be your best friend for editing photos. Can I buy prints? The answer is yes. I had a print sale um, this spring and I will probably do a print sale maybe closer to Christmas, but you can buy prints anytime. Just go on to, to my website, um, Gloria, G O N I dot com, G L O R I A, G O N I dot com. And there's a contact form. You contact me. Um, we talk about what you want, what size, and we'll make a beautiful print for you. So, yeah, totally can do that. Film or digital? Oof. Well, I was, a f so first I did film photography in high school, and then I started doing digital photography. And I like them both a lot. And then I did digital photography for many, many years. And now I've just gotten back into film. And what I have to say is that I enjoy the process of film more and I'm better at digital. But um, I really hope to get better at film photography. If you have any recommendations on how to take better film photos or um, anything like that, let me know. I'm like fiending for more information on it. So do let me know, but... Um, Right now I'd say film. I'm kind of on a film kick. Last kind of question I'm going to answer is, what kind of film do you use and where do you get it processed? I use Portra 400 for my 35 millimeter uh, film camera and I get it processed at State Film Lab. I think it's in like somewhere in the South, but they do a really good job and I really like them. All right, well thank you guys so much for um, asking questions. I'll try to do more of those as the winter goes on. I'm planning on fish all winter long. I might even go on a trip, see what happens. I'm gonna let Berto say goodbye. Berto, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yeah, you say goodbye. All right, well thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment anything you would like me to cover in future videos. And again, follow me on Instagram at G-L-O-G-O-N-I. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>